Welcome to the Complete Story Series. We take trade paperbacks and single issues and we break them down into digestible bites to help you understand. And then we read it dramatically back to you. All alterations to the panels, text, and images are to prevent copyright problems and all art is owned by its respective companies. As usual, we recommend you buying this book as the fight scenes are epic and I don't personally feel like we do them justice. But let's go ahead and begin. So many of you have been asking, where was the Hulk in Civil War? Well, Marvel's Illuminati decided that he was a threat. Reed Richards, Black Bolt, Stephen Strange, and Iron Man all decided that the Hulk was too much of a threat to remain on Earth, and they chose to knock him unconscious and blast him into space. The plan was to send him to a planet filled with peaceful plant life and nothing that he could harm. But the Hulk woke up mid-flight, and he received a message from what he thought were his friends, and he became enraged. He punched everything on the ship and it threw the ship off course and the Hulk found himself on a planet filled with gladiators. The beings on this planet all matched his strength and he was finally in a place where he could actually be harmed. Knowing that this could become a problem, Bruce Banner and the Hulk agreed to remain as the Hulk but with the intelligence of Bruce Banner. An agreement that would keep the two men safe. And he used this to his advantage to climb the gladiatorial ranks. Eventually, he rose to the top, and then he would lead a revolution against the Red King, the ruler of this planet. The Hulk then brought peace to this world, and he even found love. He was finally happy. But then the ship that brought him to this world exploded, and it killed millions of people within his capital city. And it also killed his wife and his unborn child. Enraged that his former friends would not only send him into space, but would also rig the ship that brought him there to self-destruct, he decided to show them exactly why you don't enrage the Hulk, and he decided to pay his old friends a visit. His first stop is the moon, where Black Bolt stands with Medusa. Black Bolt's power is to speak with the force of an atomic bomb if he wanted, but this doesn't even phase the Hulk as he lands and he looks right at him. You shot me into space killed my world and he reaches over grabbing Black Bolt by the arms but Black Bolt simply whispers enough knocking the Hulk back hundreds of feet as he walks away assuming that the Hulk is defeated but the Hulk just gets to his feet and he says I didn't come here to hear you whisper I want to hear you scream as he leaps on top of Black Bolt the Hulk then broadcasts a message all over Earth Puny humans, I came here to smash, and you should all know who is to blame. You call them heroes, but I call them monsters. They tried to kill me by launching me into space. After making a world and becoming the Green King, your heroes set off a bomb that killed millions of people. I now return with my warbound to take them. You have 24 hours to evacuate this city, and when I return, I expect them here ready to fight. If they aren't, I will do this and he holds up a beaten and bloodied Black Bolt to your whole stinking planet. Realizing that they are heavily outgunned in this match and the Hulk is madder than he has ever been before, Tony and Reed go to the one person who might be able to stop the Hulk, the Sentry. But the Sentry is so powerful that he fears his own power and he hasn't even stepped outside of his own house in months. So while at first he's ready to face off with the Hulk, he can't even leave the threshold of his own home. Without the Sentry to back them up, Tony suits up in his Hulkbuster armor and he calls in the Hulk's former allies. The Hulk lands ready to fight and the battle between the Hulkbuster armor to Tony Stark and Hulk begins by shattering all of the windows around for miles. Tony rocket punches the Hulk in the head and then he launches him straight into the ground. But the Hulk gets up and Tony launches into his stomach pushing him through a multitude of buildings. As Tony begins to back off, two fighter jets fly overhead and they launch two missiles engulfing the Hulk in fire. Which doesn't work, because it reminds him of how his wife died, and it makes him angrier. He looks right at Tony. You killed her! And Tony simply says, oh hell. As the Hulk finally gets a shot in and he knocks Tony's armor into a nearby building, tearing it to pieces and dropping the entire building on it. He then gets up and he walks back into the city. He calls down his warbound, and in front of the heroes of Earth, there are five more aliens as strong as the Hulk was before he was this angry. She-Hulk steps forward. Bruce, we'll put Tony and them on trial. This isn't the way. But the Hulk grabs She-Hulk by the mouth and he buries her into the ground. 
This begins a battle between all of the heroes there and the Warbound, as the Hulk leaps away to find the other three people who sent him away. His next stop is the location of Mr. Fantastic, and both Storm and the Human Torch try to bombard the Hulk with their powers. But he just stands there, taking it all to the face, and the Thing looks down in shock as the Hulk doesn't even flinch. The Thing then leaps down and he stands toe to toe with the Hulk, only to have his head smashed between the Hulk's massive fists. The Hulk then begins to take swings at Reed, only to be stomped by Invisible Woman's force fields. But even those aren't strong enough to stop him as he hits them so hard that he pushes her mind to its limit and she passes out. Hulk then proceeds to just tear into Reed Richards until he is nothing more than a stretched out mess and unconscious. Walking down the streets, he drags Reed Richards behind him until he's stopped by Rick, the young man that he saved all the way back in the day when he got changed into the Hulk. Rick just asks him to stop. Please, Hulk, stop this madness. And at that exact moment, the last of Hulk's targets uses this to his advantage. Stephen Strange taps into the Hulk's mind to talk to the man inside. And just as Stephen reaches out, General Thunderbolt T. Ross uses a military onslaught on the Hulk, bombarding his body in the real world, while Stephen Strange pulls the Hulk away for a chat in the mental mindscape. The two of them begin to argue in the mindscape, and the Hulk begins to try and punch the astral projection of Stephen Strange. But in the real world, it appears that the Hulk is just punching thin air. Steven just boldly tells the Hulk to calm down. He is the Sorcerer Supreme, and the Hulk's anger will not win. Let me help you, Bruce. Show me your true face. So the Hulk calms down, and he begins to revert back to Bruce Banner. That's what she said. He simply says to himself quietly, Stephen then forces Banner to remember the positive times, the good moments that he had with his wife. Stephen then makes himself corporeal, and he places a hand on Bruce's shoulder. I have always been your friend, Bruce. But Bruce smirks. No, Stephen. I've got you. And he hulks out, grabbing Stephen by the hands and breaking them. The pain forces Stephen to fall out of the mindscape, freeing the Hulk, and he begins to rampage through Thunderbolt Ross's army. Nothing can stop him, not even Thunderbolt Ross shooting him in the eyeballs, and eventually the Hulk prevails and he moves to Strange's home with his warbound. His group quickly makes short work of Strange's friends, and not even Iron Fist can stand against them. But just as the Warbond enters Strange's sanctum, he tries one last thing, and he summons all of his rage into a truly fearsome form that appears in front of the Hulk. Strange smash! He shouts as they begin their battle. The strength that Strange has at his disposal now is actually too much for the Hulk, and at first Strange is actually beating him, but Strange cannot control his power and he accidentally almost hurts the bystanders, which is the opening that the Hulk needs to punch Strange through a series of buildings with a single punch. He then leaps onto Stephen Strange and begins to pummel him over and over again until he finally wins, and he captures the last of the four men who sentenced him to death. But the Hulk wasn't just trying to imprison them. He wanted them to feel as though he did when he first arrived on that foreign planet. Every one of the heroes that he captured has been fitted with an obedience disc, a device so powerful that not even the Silver Surfer could fight the urges that it forced on him. He places Tony Stark, Doctor Strange, Reed Richards, and Black Bolt into an arena to battle against one of the monstrous creatures that he had to fight on day one of the foreign planet. While challenging because of the lack of any of their powers, they still manage to defeat the beast using the weapons that were provided to them, and Black Bolt manages to make the final kill by stabbing it in the head. But the Hulk isn't done yet, and he tells each of them that on his second day on the planet, he was forced to fight against the other slaves to the death, and he tells the four men to fight amongst themselves. They use everything they've got, knocking each other around and throwing their weapons at each other. But eventually, Reed stands over Tony, ready to smash his head in, and the audience begins to chant, KILL! 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 Hulk holds his hand up, and he gives the thumbs down, letting them know that Reed must kill Tony. But there is one man who has been forgotten in our story. The Sentry is still standing in his doorway, afraid to leave his home. But he decides that it's time. It's time to play God, and he rockets for the arena. Reed continues to try and fight against the disc that is forcing him to smash Tony's head in, but he can't do it, and he brings the mace down inches from Tony's head. Everyone stops quiet, and the Hulk speaks. Remember this. 
We came here for justice, not murder, and no one has died. We will now raise this city to the ground and leave you to your shame. But Tony looks over at the Hulk with blood dripping from his face. This is your last chance to surrender. And before anyone can truly react to that comment, the Sentry barrels in so fast that he tears the arena apart and he shoves the Hulk into the nearby buildings. He uses the full force of his strength to launch the Hulk with a single punch. The Hulk gets up. Stark, Richards, all of you! Don't forget what happens next is on your heads. And the two heaviest hitters in the Marvel Universe begin to slug it out, taking out buildings around them with every swing. The streets begin to fill with fire as the Sentry lets loose the power of a million exploding suns. And the two Titans continue to slug it out with fire and strength over and over. The destruction is so massive, but in the end, they both burn out and revert back to their human forms. The Sentry falls to the ground human, thanking the Hulk for letting him let loose. Bruce looks back at everyone with the war bound asking, where's the Hulk? And then Rick reaches out a hand to Bruce, welcome home. But before Bruce can even shake his hand, one of the war bound screams, no, the Hulk isn't done, come back to us. And he stabs Rick in the chest. Bruce's heart begins to fill with rage once again, and he turns back into the Hulk and begins to slam the member of the Warbound over and over. The bug-like monster looks up at the Hulk. Yes, do it! Never stop is what you taught me. We will never stop fighting, and that is why I've killed them. With that comment, the Hulk stops. Them? The bug creature continues. I had to remind you. You wanted peace, but that's not who you are. I blew up the warp core in your old ship. So much rage begins to pour out of the Hulk that he hits critical mass. Even his eyes and his mouth are beaming with gamma radiation. The anger is so great that no one is safe, and with a single palm slap, the entire world feels the force of the Hulk. With a single step on the ground, he even forces earthquakes up and down the eastern seaboard. He screams out, Do what you're gonna do, Tony! Use it now! Use your ultimate weapon before I break the world! So Tony calls down a satellite blast, and he runs over to the Hulk, hitting him with the full force of it. Ending this. The Hulk reverts back to Banner, and he falls to the ground unconscious. S.H.I.E.L.D. shows up and they seal up Bruce Banner and they lock him away in his war bond. They're imprisoned for their actions against Earth. And that's the end of World Breaker Hulk. Hulk eventually gets a chance to redeem himself, but it takes quite a while. And the Illuminati are shamed across the world for quite some time. But that's the story of World War Hulk. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and if you want to chat about this video, please follow us on Twitter, at ComicStorian, and don't forget we have a gaming variety channel known as Eligible Monster, and a list-based channel known as List Bomb, both of which you can find in the description down below. We also have a Reddit, r slash ComicStorian, where we pretty much put the videos up pretty close to when they go out. I'm Benny the ComicStorian, and I will see you guys next time, right here.